Is it visible? Okay. Okay. So uh, today will be a basic introductory class uh, for this basic foundation course. As the term suggests, basic. So we will go through all of the concepts of mathematics starting from class six, like जो हम लोग एकदम बचपन से start करेंगे. Uh, assuming the fact that we know uh, like few arithmetic uh, like operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But if you want me to explain that, I'll do that as well. Um, so basically, addition, as we know, incorporation or addition, like kind of including number, like including value to something, which which is addition. And subtraction is basically uh, to remove something, to get rid of something. It could be number, it could be any valuation, right? And apart from that, um, next is uh, multiplication. It is basically, uh, I would say, it is again, it is sort of uh, kind of. Producing or product of something two now two or more numbers will be multi we multiply to create a product of something okay and then comes division which is um if there's to create if there's a valuation we will be kind of uh we will be dividing it into we will be formulating it into smaller values so that's division basically so this is about it and any anything that you want to add sir. um okay so um as we know this is the basic foundation course so i would want other people to also include in it so if any one of you want to add or if you any one of you think that i am i'm going wrong somewhere i would definitely want you all to kind of uh, improve me so that we all can learn together like in this process okay so apart from that um so I'll start with this particular class. Um, so this is the contents of class six. Okay, first is knowing our numbers. So as we know, numbers uh, is arithmetic value, or it is the basic, uh, like kind of base of any numerical uh, kind of operation. So we will be knowing our numbers, then we'll be getting to the uh, like valuation, like whole numbers. Then we'll get with like numbers and how to formulate some of those operations. Then we'll get basic idea, like geometrical ideas. Then we'll work with the elementary shape, like we know already, I guess, like circles and uh, triangles and all of it. And then we'll move forward and we'll learn about integers, fractions, decimals, like as it will progress. Okay. So uh, to go in a little detail, like a little bit more detail about chapter one, it would be around. So first is um, in this particular area, in this uh, knowing our numbers, we will learn about large numbers, and then we'll also understand the Indian and the universal arrangement of numeration. So as we know, like in numer uh, in universal arrangement of numeration, there is three digit split. Like uh, for million or billion or, uh, but in Indian uh, arrangement of numeration, there is three digit split, and then we go forward with two digit split. So that's how it moves, and thereafter, uh, it's also like estimation of uh, large numbers, Roman numbers. We'll know all of it, and then we'll also understand how to compare large numbers. Like it's very basic concepts, but that's how it goes. And um, then this chapter has around three three uh, kind of exercises. So first, um, if we have to understand in this particular area, so um, like anyone can anyone mention like if you know already what is like Indian till the end of Indian arrangement of numeration, can anyone tell what's the end valuation? Anyone in the chat box? Okay. So assuming, uh, like we do not know. So we start with unit, uh, unit value. So then it goes around like ten, then hundred, um, then thousand, then ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, crore, right? Then ten crore. Then we we have Arab, Arab, then ten Arab, then Kharab we have, then ten Kharab, Neel, ten Neel, then Padma. 
then 10 Padma. Thereafter, we have Shank, then 10 Shank, then Mahashank. So if we, are, if we understand, if we remember the sequence of this, we will see a pattern that is basically we don't need to uh, like kind of remember what is the exact uh, kind of entire, even if we don't remember like uh, like kitne zero hote hai, thousand mein, ya fir lakh mein kitne hote hai. even if we don't remember, if we remember the sequence, we will definitely understand because as we know, like unit may one, right? 10 may we add one zero, it's one zero ten. Then 100, another zero progresses, like or zero add hota jata hai. So it will progress accordingly. So similarly, in universal system, we have like 1, 10, 100,000. Till uh, 100,000, we have 100,000, which is lakh, right? And thereafter, uh, we also have, uh, thereafter, we move forward with million. Then uh, that is 10 million we have. And then um, we have 100 million, which is 10 crore. Then we have billion, then 10 billion, then 100 billion, like it moves on. And which what is for uh, Indian numeration system, it's, Mahashank, it's for uh, it's for universal uh, like numeration system. It's ten uh, quinti quintillion. Okay, so it's uh, uh, basically ten to the power of nineteen. If anybody understands power, uh, like ten, upper me thora power. Okay, that's about it. So um, yeah, any question or up until now? Anything that anyone wants to add, you can raise your hand. I'll unmute and you can add also. Okay. No, okay. No problem. Okay. So next, uh, we move forward with the chapter two. That is whole number. So it's very easy. Like, so whole number is basically whole. So we'll start with zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. Whereas natural number is starts from one. All of us know, right? So that's about it. So in whole numbers, um, so the set of numbers include all positive integers and zero, like I mentioned. And so uh, this chapter will also talk about predecessors and successors. So predecessors kya hote? Jo ke pehle aate. And successors is jo baad mein aate. So uh, what happens in predecessor is, um, to define like literal meaning of predecessor is, um, of a given number, koi bhi ek number ka kar liye, for example, uh, 10 ya 9 ya fir 2, 1, 1 ka predecessor nahi hota hai as such. But then yeah, so predecessor of a given number is 1 less than that particular number, okay? And a successor kya hota hai? 1 more than that particular number. So for example, um, 9 is a predecessor of 10, whereas 10 is a successor of 9, less, okay? And uh, of a natural number, and then um, like, like if we say of a natural number in that sense, if we have one number, unka to successor hoga two, but one ka predecessor zero, we have not been able to tell because natural number starts from one, right? So next, uh, of course, the uh, addition subtraction again, that is the basic uh, thing, and then um, we'll also understand number line, they say zero, one, two, three, four, how it progresses. Again, this has this chapter has three chapters all in all and we'll understand all of it and next is um so in a uh, third chapter we'll understand uh, the number like factors in multiples and why it's important because if we have to get like get to know about factors and multiples uh, then we will also learn in like in in a greater uh, like we'll have a great understanding about LCM HDF also because that's where in when in our childhood we used to get confused like what is LCM, what is HCF and how to get to prime factorization methods and all of it, right? So LCM is as the term like to uh, like kind of extrapolate this particular uh, LCM, what is it? It's least common multiple and we can also kind of um, or we can also call it as least common divisor, okay? So the smallest number, which is divisible by two or more given numbers. That is what it is. And then HCF is basically highest common factor, or we can also call it as GCF, which is greatest common factor. Okay. And uh, so this is uh, in HCF, two or more numbers uh, is basically, uh, two or more number is the greatest factor, and it divides the entire number. We'll understand it in a great detail in this particular chapter three, but just to give an idea. 
and uh, so we'll also understand what perfect number, prime number, composite number, all of this. Anyone? Non number line. Yes, right. Right, Mr. Thakur, you said that the number line is positive or yeah, it can go both ways. Okay. So, uh, Ismita, Ismita, yes, Ismita, how are you? Yes, sir, how are you? Do you have an example in this? Uh, examples, yes, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Examples as in, it's uh, like prime numbers and composite numbers, all of these, right? Okay, so uh, again, uh, like sir mentioned to give an example, agar HCF or LCM samajhne ja rahe, so in that case, 2 is an HCF of 4 and 5, 4 and 6, sorry, 2 is an HCF of 4 and 6, whereas for LCM, we can say uh, LCM of 2 and 3 is 6, so that way, so basically, uh, like divisible by 2 or uh, like least number, which is divisible by two or uh, like more numbers, right? And HCF, which is the greatest factor, that is two is HCF of four and six four, right? So next, um, if you have to see chapter chapter uh, like geometrical ideas, which is um, basic geometrical ideas, uh, and we'll understand about line segment, horizontal lines, then vertical lines are there. Horizontal lines is what is horizon like uh, in Geography also we have the horizon, so it's like slanting, and then vertical is like straight. Then uh, parallel lines, then perpendicular lines. It will have uh, like will have a base. Perpendicular line has a base, and then uh, like perpendicular lines are basically. Yes, sir. So this is basically perpendicular, you'll see. And then uh, again, this chapter, you will also understand the concepts of angles, triangles, uh, polygons, then quadrilaterals, uh, regular polygons, you'll understand a circle as well. So to give uh, a bit, bit better idea about regular polygons, so what we have also written polygons and regular polygons, right? So what is regular polygon? It is basically, it will have e uh, like equiangular, like equal angles will be there as well as equilateral. So the sides will also be equal. For example, uh, if you remember like equi, uh, like for example, triangle, equilateral triangle, we have heard about this equilateral triangle thing a lot in uh, in our childhood. So this equilateral triangle has 60 degrees in, in its inner angles, basically. So like in this perpendicular line, we are seeing this as an angle, right? Where, where, the both, where both the lines are meeting. So this is 90, right? But in equilateral triangle, so this all of these sides are equal. For example, if you say, ma'am, uh, like, Ishmita, this, uh, this is 6. So this will also be 6. This side will also be 6 centimeter, or this, this will also be 6. So, and this angles will also match. This, this one, the 3. Okay. This will also match. So this is one, two, one, two. Yeah, square also, right? Square is also an example. Like, yeah, right. Right. Okay. Oh, great. So, uh, thereafter, oh. so thereafter, um, like, we'll also understand, like, how to sum the interior angles of a polygon that is uh, 180 into n minus. It will understand the more in, like in great detail as we can, but then uh, we'll also understand like how to get the number of diagonals of n sides of polygons, and thereafter how to measure the interior angles of regular n n sides. So there are formulation we have to remember some, and we have to again, and these are very easy basically. But we, if we remember the basics of each of it, like basics of uh, one one particular uh, like I know base value and then we can formulate the others. We can remember the others. So th this is how it moves. Anyone wants to add anything else? Uh, so so uh, after that in this chapter has again six, like six exercises uh, to understand.
and better and then quadrilateral okay quadrilateral is uh, quad basically four sides okay after that let's move forward and types of lines as we have also we have already mentioned okay? so and okay distance between two points so distance between two points if is so if we see two points and if you have to see the distance between it it will actually kind of create a line so that's the distance between two line segment that will be it and then um, okay so the next chapter is um, understanding elementary shapes okay. this is very interesting because it will deal with a lot of interesting shapes and uh, like we'll understand bit in a better way like what are corners edges planes we'll also understand like open and closed curves so to give a little idea about open and curved uh, like curve like closed curves basically open curves are which is not enclosed in any area within itself and um, it has two end points so we will see two end points in it for example this this is an open curve so it's a curved line but then again it has two uh, distinguished two points basically and uh, two points we have but uh, but it's again a curved line that's forming this particular shape and if we have if we talk about like closed uh, curve basically joining the uh, joining the open curve if we join the open curve something like this it would form circle only like a distorted circle but uh okay so uh, has no end points it has no end points because it's closed it's uh, it has a particular shape and it's enclosed in a particular area or a region if we call it call uh, it that so uh, it's a circle could be there an ellipse could be there uh, as an example of this so it has again nine chapters we'll understand that Ap apart from that uh, like integers um so integers deal with uh, representation or idea of negative numbers so in this uh, what is negative number to understand like what is ne negative number so we have uh, like heard the term numbers a lot also positive and negative numbers we probably have heard and we know but i'll just give a little bit more explanation so negative number is uh, a number whose value is less than 0 basically it has a minus sign in it okay so um It, we can also call it as reflective of the other side of zero also like one two three four five six seven eight like we know right the progress how it progresses so it's kind of reflective of that but we'll just have to add a negative valuation or negative uh, kind of sign latched to it would we'll just have a negative sign latched to it and it will it took it, it has a value which is much lesser than zero even uh, okay so um, apart from that uh, this negative uh, like sign it actually is a magnitude that kind of expresses loss or deficiency so it expresses something which is less and uh, so any sort of whole number fraction decimal can be incorporated in it that is an integers integers uh, are without any fractional components okay? and um, for example it's just the whole number without any fractional component it could be positive negative both as well as zero but then it's not uh, like fractional components are not included in integers thereafter um, so okay so integers are also represented in a number line um, so a number line is like uh, one of mr akur i guess he explained number line if you have if you see like this so this is like b b zero then this side we have one two Three. Then this side will have minus one, minus two, minus three, so like the progresses. So uh, we'll also understand the addition and subtraction. So there are few uh, kind of rules like um, like plus plus. It gives us positive value because both are positive. And then uh, we have this minus minus, which also gives us positive value. Then a positive and negative, which gives us negative value. So this is how we'll understand uh, better. And then um, Okay, so this again has uh, like kind of three exercises in it, and uh, next is uh, decimal. So uh, 
Decimal is again a very interesting um, kind of concept, which is uh, we'll understand the idea of uh, decimal. But it, decimal basically it expresses a smaller number, which is smaller number which is smaller than one. So uh, like we have seen, negative numbers are uh, something which is less than zero, but decimals are something which is something less than one. So in between, it's said that in between one and two, there are infinite numbers of uh, like infinite decimal points we can we can formulate, and then um, so we can express any sort of smaller number which is less than one by using this decimal point. So within first zero and one, also we have a lot of decimal valuation that that can be mentioned. So um, and to uh, kind of understand decimals better, we can we can go back in time. Like this. it came from a word called decim, and which means actually ten. So it's a Latin word, and uh, ten is the base value of decim. Um, like decimal system, okay, and decimal system can be divided into two parts. So if you see a decimal value, uh, for example, one zero decimal ten one zero, okay. So it has two components. First is uh, first is the whole number that we have, and then is the decimal fraction. So decimal fraction is and if if the similar thing is if this is also written as uh, like we write it as one, one, ten dot again one z so uh, or else uh, let's see like not this one ten dot one two so uh, a lot of us, even I used to make this mistake. Uh, like we used to call it as ten point twelve. So it's not ten point twelve since it's a uh, it's the tenth valuation. So we'll call we generally call it as ten dot or ten decimal one two. Okay, and similarly this will be like ten decimal zero one. And if this is the scenario, then it would be like after decimal zero has no such uh, kind of after decimal zero has no such kind of weightage so if any number is after zero then definitely we will consider it but then if uh, zero itself is there or zero is at the end of the 10th uh, 10th place so it would be like uh, 10.1 so that's how it goes and then um, so we in this chapter we'll understand about the addition of uh, like numbers with decimal then subtractions of it then exercises of course, it's like six exercises will be there. Then is um, data handling. So data handling is a very important uh, like part of it. So wherein what uh, we will understand the topic data, and then the types of data, uh, then different representations of data, how to represent it in different forms, and uh, we'll also understand the introduction of data, like how to record any data, organize it, present it, or in form of any sort of graphical presentation like uh, pie chart, bar chart, uh, bar graph. We have seen pictograph. We have, we'll see, and then um, we'll see. Uh, we'll be also seeing the basic concept: how to derive from a bar graph from any value that is presented or that is kind of given. So, uh, if you see uh, like types of data, so types of data are generally of two areas. Like first is qualitative. And second is the quantitative, uh, like kind of type. So if we uh, if we talk about the qualitative data, which is descriptive information, any sort of descriptive inf information that is given in the question, that is qualitative. And then quantitative is basically numerical information. It could be in a chart format. It could be given in like any numerical format. It could be, right. So this process of data handling is basically to gather, to record, and to present the information. In a graphical representation, like uh, it's mentioned, and in any sort of like uh, I would say, in, 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 to analyze any sort of data as well. So, uh, okay. So apart from that, it has uh, like four exercises in it. We'll see to that, and then uh, we have mensuration. That is, uh, it deals with like. Measurement of shapes and sizes and uh, figures, basically its areas, the volume of it. Uh, if we if we'll also talk about the perimeter, perimeter is basically um, the outer area of any particular shape. 
uh, outer part of any particular shape then uh, any sort of regular shape or any uh, any given particular measurement of any area will understand that okay that's three uh, exercises apart from that we'll understand also algebra algebra is as we know um, it solves uh, like it includes solving problems um, with various alphabets alphabets as in a b c d so z right so it will <coughs> okay so it will have various sorts of alphabets as variables so variables is something that stores a um, value it has the cap capability to store any sort of values um so we can also uh, kind of store multiple values in a particular variable for example uh, if we see a okay? a is an alphabet right so we can store any sort of numerical value 1 example 2 or anything in a so that is uh, what like the basic uh, variable concept is and then uh, we'll understand like the common rules also of variables then uh, the expressions that will deal with variables and uh, then we'll move forward we'll uh, we'll see equations we'll see uh, quadratic equations and also so that we can understand like how to kind of form it in a better way and we can use it further in other numericals as well so um, that's about it and then uh, we'll have the uh, like five exercises and then uh, ratio and proportion again the ratio and proportion is basically uh, a certain circumstances wherein we are we are comparing it with division so uh, so ratio is comparison by division and if two ratio is equivalent then we can call it as proportional and uh, we have symbols for it so for ratio we have two dots okay and for proportion we have four right okay. so yeah so uh, we'll understand uh, the ideas of ratio the concepts of it and uh, how to deal with various uh, proportional factors like proportional like through unitary method method also we'll learn so that is uh, that is how we'll move and then it comes symmetry symmetrical items we'll understand then uh, like various symmetrical uh, like figures can you say okay. so we'll understand like uh, any sort of figures with two lines of symmetry how to move forward with it then any sort of object how to distinguish how to get a symmetrical uh, like kind of line for the, for that particular object for that particular um shape then uh, the reflections of it the symmetry uh, symmetry also has various principal topics then we'll also understand that so that is that will again have three exercises the last chapter is uh, okay so the last chapter is uh, practical geometry but that is again that deals with the aspect of geometry box and everything so it's very difficult to kind of um to kind of formulate it in a uh, online uh, platform but i'll try if anyone has any questions regarding this i'll also uh, kind of answer the practical geometry is basically to uh, mark and demarcate the uh, angles uh, to use geometry box and and use it accordingly okay? so that's how it goes and the, anyone wants to add anything uh, in this particular class up until now any questions also any questions as such no questions so um, can anyone tell me like what is numbers for you like apart from what's mentioned in this particular slide can anyone tell me what does number mean to you or anyone um anyone can call number using counting okay right use for counting anyone else um uh, 
55 of us 55 members are here value of this okay yeah right so what actually right so it's it's used for uh, counting as well it's value of digits as well yeah we can call it that so uh, the exact uh, kind of text like um, the literal meaning of numbers as i find from dictionary or google arithmetic which can be expressed in words as well symbols figures right and thereafter like to represent it any sort of particular quantity of any any object as well apart from that um, we can also we use it as like mr thakur has and sage mentioned uh, that we use it for counting and to make calculations right and then uh, mathematical objects are basically used to measure or label or to understand um, like concrete objects to count concrete objects so um, if you have to see uh, like any particular object so and any if anyone tell me like what is object for you calculate it like mr shikh can you tell me what object is like anyone whatever you understand by the word object what is object very small okay okay akansha pandey you want to speak uh okay i'll allow you akansha are you here Akansha, do you want to say something? Okay. Yeah. Akansha, you can mention in the chat box if you want to. Okay. Use using static. Object means entity. Okay, no problem, Akansha. Okay, object. Object means entity. Okay, Shubham. No, no. I'm talking about ob not objective objects. Entity. Okay, it can it can be called as entity. Yes, Shubham, my God. Anyone else? Uh, like anyone else? Uh, anything like could be as basic as like entity or whatever. Like chair is an object. Anything. so uh, right rightly said shubham uh, so uh, as mr shubham said it's a visible entity which has which could have a fixed shape or a form like anything that has a fixed shape or a form it can be touched seen or it can be perceived as well okay it can be anything as as such it's an entity right so uh, yes so it will help us to understand like it numbers basically helps us to say which which is a collection of objects uh, it, and how to arrange it from bigger and uh, like bigger to smaller or to how to arrange it accordingly like first second third it gives a particular valuation it, it gives value to something object can can yeah yeah mr pankaj right yeah it's it's something that we that can be seen like right okay great anything else that anyone else wants to add because uh, as so mentioned uh, i think that object is some object means to a thing which can of existence okay very philosophical man gives a sense great so uh, as so might have mentioned that uh, that this basic foundation course is for all of us to understand the concepts in detail so what we will do is we will get through the basic concepts Uh, we'll understand the concepts in these class but uh, as we know uh, mathematics is a subject that requires a lot of attention like other subjects as well um, like all all the subjects require equal attention but uh, what we need and the 15 minute or one hour class won't do justice to a particular subject so
so what we have to do is we have to go back and we have to practice even if a particular sum seems very uh, very simple and very easy and we might we, we might feel that it's very easy and ye to kar lenge but sometimes it doesn't uh, it doesn't work out that way um so uh, because a lot of us might have faced this uh, because a lot of us are already grad i like, uh, none of us are in school i guess so um, so we have already faced our board exams so in board exam we have had a lot of chapters were there um, in our test specific, specifically so uh, before giving our board exams the test that we used to have in our school we used to what we used to do is uh, we used to kind of feel this chapter is very easy and ye to kar lenge but that doesn't work out it doesn't work out that way we generally have a lot of problems when it comes to solving those uh, those sums we kind of we lose our path in between and we do not get uh, get to the answer so however simple it may seem we need to understand the very uh, base level of it be it what is number or what is hcf lcm we need to understand that way. so yes um like um so talking about basics uh, we should, we have to understand like the very basic concept like comparing numbers so to compare two numbers um Uh, okay so uh, before starting this uh, do, does anyone have anything else to say anyone hey, do, do anyone want to talk like uh, like want to say something like add any value to this particular topic or something Uh, obviously anyone okay so uh basically uh comparing numbers so uh how to compare two numbers uh we have to like firstly write the number in a place value chart so what is place value chart it is this right in front of us This hundred, hundred, ten, one. This particular. This is the place value chart. This is the place that two possesses. This is the value of two in the ones place, and then five is in the tens place, and nine is in the hundreds place. So it's it's the place value chart. So we have to write the number in a place value chart, and then compare the digits with its greatest value, like greatest place value. Greatest and this in this particular chart, the greatest place value is hundred. Okay. So, uh, right, we can see in this particular example itself nine five two. So, in nine five two, first number and second number is nine two five. So, in 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 between these two numbers, we have nine and nine both in the hundred place. And then when we come to the second second greatest place value, that is ten, we have five in the first uh, first number, and then we have uh, two. so we can understand definitely 5 is greater so so technically this will be this particular thing will be great right okay so if a digit is same and is compared to the digit in the uh, next place value to the right while comparing the digits in a same place value until we find any sort of difference so like with the example we can see so this two particular number is same so we'll move forward with the tens place And five and two is there, okay. So in five and two, five is greater. So yeah. So um, and it's mentioned here as well. So nine two nine five two is greater than nine two. So uh, again, if we have to see the examples of these, uh, like a given number, like this, uh, these are the given dig digits for the first one. So without repetition, we have to make a greatest and a smallest four digit number. so there are four digits so we need not to repeat any sort of digits so we'll make the largest and the smallest so in largest again largest will be 9 then we'll get 7 to the hundredth place and then 4 to the tens place and then 1 uh, to the ones or the units okay and for making it the smallest valuation of this particular uh, digit to arrange these particular digits in a in a smallest valuation we'll get it we'll see as 1 4 7 and 9 so 9 is 9 being the uh 
highest value or high in this particular digit in this four digits nine is the highest value right so we'll place it in one place giving it the lowest uh, kind of place value then seven then four then one because one is the smallest here in terms of value of the digit uh, so we we'll, to make it as the smallest uh, kind of number a smallest um, kind of value for the entire to we have we'll place it like this, okay and then again um, if we have 5403 to make it uh, greatest we'll see 5 first then 4 then 3 then 0 similar to the first one but in smallest zero is basically the smallest here right in this in this four uh, digits but we cannot place zero in the in in the highest value we cannot place zero in the highest value because if we place zero in the highest here if we place zero then the number will become 3 4 5 so technically it will become a three digit number We will not retain its four-digit properties, so uh, so we will place the next smallest uh, digit to zero, that is three. So we'll place three first, then zero, then four, and then five. So that's how it goes. And then uh, to make the greatest and the smallest digit number by using uh, by using one, any one digit twice. So here it said that uh, your Three digits are given, so accordingly we we have to kind of repeat a particular digit. So for for making a large number, we will have to repeat the uh, largest digit. So that is eight eight. Eight is the largest uh, value, right? It is the largest number. So eight eight, and then seven, then three. For making the a smallest number using these three digits, we will have to repeat the smallest. Uh, kind of smallest number. That is, in this particular sequence, we have three. Three is the smallest, so three, three, seven. So again, nine zero five. We'll have to re repeat nine here, and for smallest zero, because zero is the smallest valuation. And then, uh, any question, anyone? Anyone who wants to add anything else? Uh, anyone knows anything extra? Uh, then you can mention it as well. Yes. Anyone? Okay. Okay. So moving forward, um, stand in a proper order. Okay. So in school we have, ah, uh, like in school and university also sometimes we have also like kind of maintained a queue formation or we have kind of we have stood in a proper uh, manner in our assembly, formed a queue starting from the shortest person standing in front to the ha like tallest person standing at the end, right? We have maintained that queue. So, um, so. So in this particular stand in pro proper order, we have two uh, particular orders that is very basic uh, kind of uh, thing in arithmetic that is uh, ascending order and descending order. We know all of us know, but then to elaborate it a little bit more. So uh, ascending order is arrangement from smallest to greatest. What we used to do in our schools, like small, the smallest one is standing in the front and the tallest one at the n so uh, descending order is basically arrangement from greatest to smallest so again if we just map the areas of the of those persons so it would be like tallest one uh, standing at the back and then progress accordingly the so smallest at the uh, end so if we see this example right so in this particular example this is the ascend, uh, like this is the smallest one Like five seven one is the smallest one. So in ascending order, it will get the first place. Then eight four seven will get its place, and then eight three two zero, and then nine seven five. And in descending order, again the entire thing will swap. Uh, so five seven four uh, five seven 
नाइन सेवन फोर फाइव फोर विल गेट इट्स फर्स्ट प्लेस देन एट थ्री टू जीरो विल गेट इट्स प्लेस एंड देन एट सेवन एट फोर सेवन एंड देन फाइव सेवन वन इट विल गेट इट्स ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द this is about the standing in proper order that is ascending and descending order anyone wants to mention any any particular example or anything else uh, about this particular uh, concept anyone any explanation or any story that you want to mention you can do it as well One nine nine. Okay. Okay, Shikha. One nine nine. Then what? Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, greater like nine nine smaller than ten. Also, this example to the question. Okay, smaller two-digit number is ten, right? And greater is something like that. Anyone else? Okay, Shikha, you want? You have arranged it. Okay, yeah, one nine nine eight, right? And then four three two one. Okay. Absolutely right. Okay, so so uh, so next comes shifting digit. Shifting digit is basically as the term suggests shift shifting two digits so digits are this three is a digit nine is a digit and one it forms the entire number 391 so uh, if we have to make it as large as uh, 9131 or 139 we just have to swap its places like swap the places of this particular digit so just we can swap places and we can make it the smallest digit or smallest number and the largest number. so we can do that so uh, for example this number if there are uh, like commands of exchanging the first and the third tile and again so the tiles are basically this uh, this is one tile this is another and following okay six and seven so if it uh, said like this is the first time this is the second this third and fourth okay so uh, so if we have to exchange first and third time we will just swap the places so six will come in fourth place and four will take six place so this is very easy and very uh, very basic and okay. so uh, now we will understand what is 10000 like 10000 works the entire concept of 10000 is so um before understanding that like mr pankaj also mentioned in the chat box that uh, the greatest and the smallest two digit number okay so we'll start with the largest one digit number which is 9 largest two digit number is 99 3 is 9994 and accordingly so um if we add one value or if we give a val uh, like if we add 1 to 9 it will give 10 which is again the smallest two digit number so accordingly and if we add one to the largest two digit two digit number it will give the smallest uh, three digit number okay so accordingly it will move forward so if you see this is this has a pattern in itself this entire thing has a pattern in itself and the greatest three digit number plus one will give again the smallest four digit number so accordingly we can understand that if we have 9999 like that is 49 
plus one will get ten thousand in it, and ten thousand is basically ten again multiplied by thousand. So that is about it. And then uh, the smallest five digit number. So this is the smallest five digit number. So so they basically ten thousand is nothing but the smallest. Five-digit number. Okay. So, um, anyone has any question up up until now? Anything? Anyone wants to add anything? Anyone wants uh, kind of to say anything? Any addition? Uh, I can see a lot of people. No one. Okay. So, uh, so guys, basically, this was an intro. Successor of. The largest two digit number. All uh, right, right, Shubham. Anything else you want to mention, Shubham? I can unmute you. You can uh, share it with all of us. Or sir, or anyone, Ritik sir, if sir is also present, anyone of us can unmute you. Anything else you want to add, Mr. Varma? Okay. Anyone else uh, of 15, 50 participants? Anyone wants to mention the speech? Okay. Nothing. Okay. So uh, this was supposed to be an introductory class. Uh, I'm not very sure how how uh, like what justice I have done to it, but then nevertheless, I'll I'll improve uh, accordingly. With your feedback as well, um, but I also want to mention one thing that uh, that I would want other people also to give input. So if anyone has like Shubham did a lot of people, lot of us like Pankaj, Mr. Varma also did, Shikha did, then uh, Akansha and Ms. Akansha did, and then Sejal, if Sejal also did, so. Same as the predecessor of the college, which is the greater, yeah, greater two-digit number, right? Right, Mr. Ram. So anyone, you can also unmute, ask us to unmute yourself, and you can in, give input also in this particular class. So that would be great. We can learn, like, in this process. Okay. Anything else that anyone wants to say? Nothing. Okay, can anyone tell me what mathematics is for any one of us? Like, what does not yet? Uh, what is mathematics for all of us? Or what is mathematics in general? Can anyone tell me? Okay, can you tell me what is the who is the father of like mathematics, a language? Okay. Okay, so Mr. Jaiswal, can we communicate with this particular language? Yes. Okay, anyone else, uh, like, who is the father of mathematics or what's the literal meaning of mathematics? Any quick facts anyone wants to mention? Uh, yeah, right, right. Uh, Anyone else? Yes, right, Ahmed. And how many of us like uh, thought maths to be very boring in when we were a child or very interesting as well? You can mention like, I for interesting and 
be for boring for that reason. Anyone wants to? Any? It's just writing I and B. You can do that. Ma'am, please explain one time in Hindi language because I'm Hindi. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, Miss uh, Shakha, I'm. I was saying that I'm going to explain the whole lecture. And what are you saying? That I'm going to explain the whole lecture. And what are you saying? That I'm going to मैथमेटिक्स uh, आपके लिए क्या वैल्यू क्या मायने रखता है या फिर आपको कैसा लगता था मैथमेटिक्स बचपन में लाइक like, इंटरेस्टिंग लगता था या फिर बोरिंग लगता था यू कैन लाइक आप आई और बी से वो मेंशन कर सकते हैं कि आई से आई फॉर इंटरेस्टिंग बी फॉर बोरिंग या फिर आपका कोई एक्सपीरियंस अगर कोई शेयर करना चाहता है मैम ओनली वन टाइम एक्सपीरियंस बोरिंग तो so, uh, पहले तो हम लोग नंबर्स uh, के बारे में जान रहे थे नंबर क्या है ओके okay, उनका बस हम लोगों ने एग्जाम लाइक एक्सप्लेनेशन देखा है नंबर का uh, क्या है नंबर okay, तो शेखा बेसिकली uh, आज की क्लास में ज्यादा कुछ नहीं करवाया गया है दिस इज ओके ओके मैथ राइट तो आज के क्लास में शिखा ज्यादा कुछ नहीं करवाया गया था पहले तो हम लोग कॉन्टेंट्स के बारे में बता रहे थे मैं कॉन्टेंट्स के बारे में बता रही थी कि क्या क्या सीखेंगे क्या क्या जानेंगे ये पर्टिकुलर uh, ये बेस फाउंडेशन uh, पे ठीक है इसके बाद हम लोगों ने बस जो पढ़ाई हुआ है वो है कि नंबर क्या है जो कि नंबर का लिटरल मीनिंग वो हम लोगों ने बताया था कि एक एरेथमेटिक वैल्यू है ठीक है कोई एक वर्ड या सिंबल या फिगर ठीक है उसको हम लोग लाइक uh, like, एक पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी uh, को समझाने के लिए या काउंटिंग के लिए या कैलकुलेट करने के लिए भी हम लोग यूज करते हैं ठीक है ना नंबर और उसके साथ साथ ही नंबर जैसे कि नंबर uh, जैसे कि कोई एक लेबल या फिर काउंट के लिए लाइक uh, यूज like, किया जाता है और ये एक uh, कोई एक पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट को अरेंज करने के लिए जैसे असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग हो गया असेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग जैसे हम लोग स्कूल में खड़े होते थे बहुत बेसिक सा एग्जांपल है जैसे स्कूल में काफी टाइम असेंबली में हम लोग लाइक खड़े होते थे तो तो वहां पे सबसे जो छोटे हो छोटा बच्चा होता था लाइक हाइट वाइज आई एम टॉकिंग उसको सामने खड़ा किया जाता था और सबसे जो टॉलेस्ट होते थे वो एकदम पीच राइट तो वो प्रोग्रेशन में वो सिक्वेंस या प्रोग्रेशन जो भी बोलिए उस पर हम लोग खड़े करते थे तो दैट इज असेंडिंग टू असेंडिंग ऑर्डर तो स्मॉल से मतलब एकदम छोटू छोटा से एकदम लार्ज ठीक है एंड उसके साथ साथ ही जब हम लोग आपका डिसेंडिंग में उसका उल्टा होता है लार्ज से लाइक सबसे लंबा ओके सबसे छोटा दैट्स अबाउट इट एंड देन हमने ये भी समझा आज कि कंपेयर कैसे किया जाता है दो लैंग्वेज को हेलो हेलो लेट लेट स्पीक फॉर द फ्यू मिनट्स देखिए जो अपने बच्चे हिंदी माध्यम वाले हैं अगर उनको अंग्रेजी समझने में दिक्कत आ रही है तो मैं उनसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा वह इतनी अंग्रेजी समझने की कोशिश करें जो हम लोग सेंटर चला रहे हैं जो हम लोग वेंचर चला रहे हैं उसमें इंग्लिश टीचिंग हम लोग बहुत कुछ लेकर आते हैं आप लोग हिंदी सीखो अगर इतनी अंग्रेजी नहीं सीख पाते हो तो सिविल सर्विसेज मत तो मैं भी आपको राय दूंगा क्योंकि नहीं हो सकता है अब सिविल सर्विसेज की जो प्रॉब्लम है जो सरकार ने बनाई उसमें चेंज नहीं कर सकते हैं उसमें आपको मैथ्स और इंग्लिश सीखनी ही पड़ेगी 
अगर आप नहीं सीखते हो तो नहीं होगा अगर आपके दिमाग में फिक्सेशन है कि नहीं साहब मैं इंग्लिश नहीं सीखूंगा मैथ नहीं सीखूंगा तो आप दो तक एग्जाम देते रहो कुछ नहीं होने वाला है हिंदी माध्यम की कोचिंग करती क्या है वो बेकू बनाती है वो क्या बोलती है साहब कुछ होती है मैथ हिंदी हम सब सिखा देंगे ऐसा नहीं होता है आप नहीं सीखो नहीं होगा इसीलिए इलाहाबाद में 200 कोचिंग चलती है एक लाख लोग कोचिंग तो वहां पे ज्वाइन करते हैं एक सिलेक्शन नहीं होता है सिर्फ इसीलिए तो वी वॉन्ट टू चेंज दिस दिस स्ट्रेटजी जो अपने टीचर हैं सब बायलैंग्वेज हैं अभी थोड़ा इस बार इस पिता भी धीरे धीरे सीख जाए शुरू में बोलती थी अंग्रेजी नहीं बोल पा हिंदी नहीं बोल पाती थी बोलने लग गई हम उस शौर्य तो हिंदी बोलते ही बोलते हैं आप लोग भी थोड़ा अंग्रेजी से यूज टू होने की कोशिश करिए और अपने टीचर को कंफर्ट दीजिए जैसे एग्जामिनर को कंफर्ट दोगे तभी मार्क्स मिलेगा ऐसे टीचर को कंफर्ट दोगे तभी आप सीख पाओगे तो टीचर को कंफर्ट क्या दो टीचर अपना हिंदी इंग्लिश इस्तेमाल करेगा आप उसकी समझने की कोशिश करो अब मैथ्स में कोई अंग्रेजी तो होती नहीं यार मैथ्स में तो हिंदी सब एक ही भाषा है भाई जो नंबर है वो क्या है उसमें कौन सा उसमें अंग्रेजी आती है साइंस वैसे कौन सा अंग्रेजी आती है जो आपको समझाने कॉन्सेप्ट समझा देंगे तो आप इस बात को बार बार फोर्स में कुछ हिंदी पढ़ाइए जिसको लगता है कि इतनी अंग्रेजी हमको नहीं आती है तो अपना अंग्रेजी ठीक करके आओ है या हमारे साथ अंग्रेजी ठीक कर ले हम लोग जिस तरह पढ़ा रहे हैं आप अंग्रेजी ठीक हो जाएगी तो है अमेजिंग लेक्चर टेकन बाई स्मिता ये इसका ये स्मिता इंजीनियर है इसने इंजीनियरिंग पढ़ी हुई है मैथ इसका स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट है ये क्लास सिक्स से शुरू कर रही है जो और टीचर पढ़ाते हैं उसको हम लोग बेसिक शुरू कर रहे हैं तो आई थिंक आपने क्लास जरूर इंजॉय किया होगा अगला क्लास फिर जब होगा आपको और इंप्रूवमेंट दिखेगा एज ए टीचर मैंने भी इंप्रूव किया है स्मिता कर रही है हमने भी पढ़ाना शुरू किया था हमने भी सीखा शौर ने भी सीखा इति भी सीख रही है स्मिता भी सीखेगी आर्यन भी सीखेगा जो भी आएगा सीखेगा सीखेगा तो आप थोड़ा सा पेशेंस रखिए दो चार दिन में हो जाएगा ठीक कोई दिक्कत हो कंटेंट में देखो पूछिए अगर आपको लगता है इस शब्द की अंग्रेजी नहीं समझ आ रही है यू राइटर्स मैं और शौर्य क्लास में रहते हैं हम लोग जरूर उसको जॉब देंगे कि हाउ योर इंग्लिश और हिंदी प्रॉब्लम कैन सॉल्व इस पर भी कोशिश करेगी थैंक यू सुस्मिता वेरी नाइस बहुत अच्छा किया आपने लेक्चर लेक्चर रिकॉर्ड हो गया हम लोग फिर पोस्ट कर दे यू कैन अगेन दिस लेक्चर थैंक्स लॉट जी सर थैंक यू सो मच और बाकी लोग भी इनको दे सकते हैं जैसे बाकी लोगों ने दिया भी वो इनपुट देंगे तो मतलब इंप्रूव होता जाएगा तनु ने भी इंग्लिश से हिंदी करके बता दिया तो वी कैन डू दैट थैंक यू सर